This school is a plain old school you might find anywhere. So of course, it has ghost stories, like you might find anywhere as well. The one I know is the pushing ghost. This poorly named ghost does exactly what its name suggests. It pushes people. This is how the story goes. At night time, when the school is empty, you mustn't turn around when you're walking down the stairs. If you do, the pushing ghost will push you down. There are lots of kids who actually suffered injuries after being pushed. There were even kids who might have died if they'd taken just one step wrong. The school thought it was a series of pranks gone wrong and asked everyone to stop immediately and inform them of who was doing it. Of course, there was no way anyone could tell them who it was. But the pushing ghost only appears in the evening, so people should just go home quickly. It's already evening today. All sorts of things get dangerous after dark, so I should quickly get out of here. After all, I'm alone. The classroom emptied before I realised it. I can't sense anyone here. Ah... The pushing ghost must appear on days like this. Hey. Huh? A sudden voice calling out to me surprised me. When I turned around, an unknown girl was standing there. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Ah, it's fine. You just surprised me a little. Sorry. What's wrong? The girl looked at me anxiously, and I wondered what was wrong. Um, before I knew it, everyone was gone. I'm scared, so can we go home together? Ah, yeah, sure. It is scary, huh? But that's normal for kids. I'm a regular kid myself, so I agree that schools after dark are scary. The two of us walk down the dark hall. It's just an ordinary hall. But just the two of us walking down, it feels lonely. Hey. What? As I walked down the stairs, the girl called out from behind me. My classroom was on the third floor, so that meant I had to go down all three floors. Have you heard of the pushing ghost? Yeah, I've heard of it. If you're walking down the school stairs at night and turn around, it pushes you, right? It's such a well-known story at school that you'd probably have trouble finding someone who hadn't heard of it. I wonder what it feels like to be pushed down the stairs. Probably not nice. Then, I wonder how it feels to be the one pushing. I wouldn't know. I've never done it. She sure likes to talk about dangerous things, I thought, and as I reached the top of the longest set of stairs, it happened. But I don't think there's any such thing as a pushing ghost. Huh? She said it so confidently that I turned around in surprise. If you turn around, you'll get pushed. Because the one who pushed you right now is me.
The moment I turned around, a heavy shove made me lose my footing. The push, and then slowly rolling down the stairs, all seemed to happen in slow motion. Just once, I wanted to try pushing someone down the stairs, but they'll consider it the actions of the pushing ghost, right? I could see her grinning. So please die. I don't want to leave any evidence behind. It really didn't feel nice to be pushed down the stairs. Yeah, there's no such thing as a pushing ghost. Huh? I reached out and grabbed the girl's arm. She looked at me, surprised. Because it's not about pushing down, it's about falling down. I grabbed her arm as I was falling, so she lost balance and both of us fell down the stairs. In other words, the ghost is me, the one you tried to push. All the kids who hurt themselves were just like you. No! Kids these days are awful, aren't they? Everything's one big game to them.